A good economy means that there's going to be more demand for oil. That means the prices will go up. Not good for the consumers, but you know what? It's good for an energy company like Atwood Oceanics. I'm here with the CEO, Rob Saltiel. So it does seem like your day rates for your rigs are starting to go up. That seems like people are starting to think there's going to be uh, more oil usage. Well, the, you're, you're exactly right. Uh, day rates are moving up. I think that's driven by a couple of things. Uh, first of all, there's a lot more demand for uh, offshore drilling uh, due in part to uh, the excitement that there is in the ultra deep water worldwide uh, and that's really fueling a lot of interest in new rigs and new technologies which in turn is driving day rates up. Uh, in addition to that we're facing uh, decline rates uh, around the world in, in terms of oil production that we have to fill with uh, new finds and new discoveries and in the ultra deep water in particular uh, we're seeing a lot of new discoveries that are portending uh, a great future in offshore drilling and again that's also helping the day rates move up. Well, when we talk about the rigs, I know you have a lot that is under construction and coming online. What do you have that's coming up, and, and when is it going to go live? Well, currently, uh, we're delivering uh, three ultra-deep water rigs, one semi-submersible and two drill ships, and we're also delivering uh, three jackups. Now, currently, one of those ultra-deep water rigs is making its way to the Gulf of Mexico. It'll start drilling in October. It'll be our first ultra-deep water uh, dynamically positioned semi-submersible. It's called the Atwood Condor. So for a fleet our size, we're, we're basically doubling the size of our company uh, from where we were in 2011 to where we'll be in 2014. Well, let's talk about the debt because when I took a look at it, I was, uh, I was not sure if that was a level to be concerned about. It looks like it's about 26%. Is this a level you're comfortable with? Yeah, we're very comfortable with our debt level uh, in part because we're, we've got a great contract backlog and we've got a lot of confidence in entering into new contracts which will generate a lot of cash for us. So even uh, with what we've got underway right now, we don't see our peak debt levels going over the mid 30s uh, in terms of debt to cap percentage and then rapidly the pay, the pay down of that debt is possible for us because of the cash we'll be throwing off from, from future contracts. So, so we are comfortable with the debt level. I think we have a view that, that the uh, oil price is generally going to remain robust. And, and for that, for us, that means uh, north of $90 to $100 a barrel on Brent. Now, it's currently today, we're about $115 a barrel on Brent, uh, which is more than compensating you know, for uh, what our customers need to make money in offshore drilling. So we really, today, have a very healthy oil price. There's been some talk about maybe this oil price moderating from current levels back down but we still think that there's significant headroom between where we are today and where the Brent price could fall uh, and, and have that still give us uh, attractive economics for our business. This market has fewer players. We're than coming into a Monday where we're going to- We're entering a new stage of tech. It's a stock picker's market. Welcome to the five dumbest things. Apple reported earnings.